What is going on everybody? My name is Aiden Corley. I am a YouTuber, but I also make videos about Christian living. And this video is going to be about walking in faith when you've been living in a loop. If you guys have never seen my face on your screen before, make sure you subscribe to this channel and drop a like on this video if you do enjoy, but let's get right into it. So in the year 2020, I decided that I'm, I'm done living in this loop. I'm done hanging out with the same people and falling into the same stuff. And I'm gonna really focus on walking in my relationship with God. And I remember I said, I'm done living in frequency and I wanna live in faith. Now, this was not easy, and honestly, it started out as me just wanting to do things for myself. I wanted to read more books, I wanted to run more, I wanted to work out, and it started out as things for me, that I wanted to grow myself. But God was like, no, 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 no. Aiden, you got it all wrong. If you're gonna put yourself in a position to be uncomfortable, and you're gonna try things you've never done before, I want you to do things that glorify me. And he put me in this position to talk to somebody in public that I had never met before about the gospel. Now I'd done this before, but this specific situation was in Walmart and it was like dead center of the pandemic. And I was supposed to walk up to this person, felt him telling me like, walk over there, person's your same age, you're a leader. You know about a young adult ministry and I'm telling you right now, you need to go talk to that person and I didn't. And it sat with me. And just like I'm sure all of you understand, all of you have been through, it sat with you for a long time and you probably remember it very vividly. And I said, you know what, no. 2020, I am not gonna live my life the way I have every previous year. And I'm not gonna continue to do this. So what I thought God was gonna use to, I'm gonna use all this stuff for myself and I'm gonna read books and be smart. God was like, nah, dude, you're about to, you're about to rock this. And quickly it became me going from, you know, just my little worldly ideas to starting ministries and building up small groups and small groups and teaching and growing in a community of religious Christian believers. But I'm going to tell you all about it. I'm going to give you all some tips. I'm going to introduce you to the idea. And if you think that you are ready to stop living in the same loop, in the same circle where you've been doing all the same things before, make sure to stay throughout this whole video because you're going to hear some things. Now, why is this a big deal? How did I come up with this concept in the first place? Well, I dropped out of high school when I was in my freshman year and it was, you know, I got expelled and skipped a lot of days and I wasn't the best person and I was tired of basically being in school. I was an awful person. Well, after I'd done it, I got stuck with this <laughs> identity of, oh, you're a drug addict and you drink and you know, you're gonna be a bum and never amount to anything. And I was like, I can't live with that and God was like you don't have to live with that you don't have that's not your reality when you walk with me you believe in me when you walk with me and you believe in me you are my son and I was like all right 2020 that's what it's all about and I came up with this idea as I mentioned to get out of my loop you know I'm not hanging out with those same people that drag me back in and I'm not hanging out in those same places that drag me back in and I'm no longer walking in darkness, I'm walking in light. So tip one is gonna be essentially surround yourself with good people. I remember at the beginning of 2020 when college let out because we were all sent home due to the virus, which honestly, when I came up with this whole thing, I had never known that racial injustice and you know, the virus were even gonna happen, but we all got let back we're all out of college, we're all sitting at home on our computers, and I started hanging out with all my old friends. And they're good people, but they are worldly. They drink and they smoke and they party, and I had just come out of this, and I was like, I can't live in this. And I remember thinking, like, it's so hard to balance the two and finding out that I couldn't because you can't be in ministry over here and hanging out with the youth and reading your Bible and doing a small group and then get a phone call from your friend and hey, come over and hang out and then you know that they're gonna be drinking. You can't walk back into the same light that, or the same darkness you left when you're trying to find light. And I remember this and thinking, man, if only I get through the summer. If only I get through the summer and I'm surrounded by like-minded people at CIU, Columbia International University, my college, I'll be fine. And the whole summer goes by, struggling, 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 identity issues and everything. And I get to CIU and I meet my roommate, Jacob. And I meet 
Luke and I meet Clay and I meet all these people and all the guys in the hall, if you're watching right now, I love you. You're great guys and you helped mold me this past year. I started being built up and mentored and everything by these same people who are trying to do the same things that I am. And we started building small groups and you know, Bible studies and ministries. And now I'm teaching, I'm teaching the Bible when two years ago I was drinking my life away. So surround yourself with good people because it's hard to walk in light when all you can see is darkness. Now, the next one is don't be afraid. And it's don't be afraid because God would not have put this on your heart if he wasn't gonna bring you through it. And I remember at the beginning of the year, I, um, you know, as Christians, we wanna have this script. We almost wanna be like, all right, God, what's your plan for my life today? What's your plan for my life this week? What's the itinerary? What are you gonna do in my life? What are you gonna throw in front of me? Where are you gonna, you know, test me? Where are you gonna, you know, where are you gonna really do some stuff? And <laughs> it's scary because sometimes we try to figure it out even though we can't. It gives us anxiety and we just have to realize that God knows what he's doing even when we don't. God knows who we are even when we don't. And God does what's best for us even when we don't. <laughs> and even though we may never know what those things are, there's no need to be afraid because he will bring us through. Now, the last thing is honestly, people are watching. And you may think that this throughout this year when you're doing this and you know your life and your relationship with God is just yours and nobody else sees it my mom sees me my my sister sees me my my friends ask me all the time you know what I want what you have and man like how did you get to where you're at from where you were and they want what I have because they see what I have they want what I have because they see what I have if they don't see what God has given me because I'm living in the world, because what I'm doing behind closed doors, I think nobody else has seen. Nobody else sees it. I'm wrong. If people are over here seeing like you doing drugs and drinking, hanging out and parties and all these girls, they see that. People have that. People don't want that in 2021. I mean, some people do. But if you show them real happiness and community and love and a family, that you could sell that to anybody people are watching so give them something good to look at honestly this whole past year has grown me so much I went from doing all those things that I named to teaching the Bible and teaching it frequently now and being employed at a church and ministry and helping out with friends and stuff like that that they have started and the year has been good throughout everything bad it has been good but if you guys did enjoy we're trying to hit 200 subscribers by my birthday, January 29th. So make sure to subscribe if you did enjoy this video and make sure to drop a like if you did enjoy. We're also trying to hit 3,000 by the end of the year, um, which is a good while away, but you know, we're still trying to do it. <laughs> but I love you guys and I'll see you next time. Peace.